first graders. I am so excited because we are about to start a new type of handwriting in first grade. Our last type of handwriting that we did was called informative, and that was our animal research project. That's when we took one topic, which we had animals, and we informed other people about what that animal is like or what that topic is all about. So that was one type of writing that we have already done an awesome job with in first grade. The next type of writing that we are gonna do is called a narrative writing. More specifically, we are gonna be doing a personal narrative writing. So one type of narrative writing is a personal narrative. A personal narrative is a story that is written about your own life. There might be other characters in the story, like your mom, dad, sister, brother, auntie, grandma, grandpa, your friends, your teachers, but the main character, so you, is the author. Remember, the author is the person who writes the words. So if I'm writing the words, I'm going to be the main person in my story. I'm not going to make up a story or I'm not going to write a story about something really awesome that happened to my older brother. No, because that's not a personal narrative. When it's personal, it means it's yours. So in a personal narrative story, there is also a clearly defined setting and the events take place in order. So if I'm telling you a personal narrative, you're going to know exactly where my story takes place. Usually it's only going to take place at one place. So I'm not going to tell a story about going to the grocery store and then the pool and then the park and then out for lunch and then back home. No, because that's a huge story. I'm going to pick just one of those places and maybe tell a really fun time I was at the park. You might have heard when I said that they happen in order. So in a personal narrative, I'm not going to jump around from time to time. We're going to start with first next, then last. Kind of how in all of our stories we have a beginning, a middle, and an end. Another way that I like to think about personal narratives is that when you think about a pizza, you have your whole pizza, and the whole pizza is a big story that you have. So let's think about the first day of school. That's your big story. A personal narrative is just when you cut one slice out of that pizza, the one event that you want to take away from that day. So out of my huge pizza, my big story about the first day of school, I could cut one slice out and that could be my really awesome recess that I had. And I just tell that story. So for example, scholars, your first time on a roller coaster would be a personal narrative, not your entire day at the park. The time that you caught fireflies outside, but not the entire time you were outside playing with your family and friends. Maybe if you were jumping in the pool, but not the whole day at a pool. So, it's gonna be very exciting because we are gonna end up writing our own personal narratives. That's why it's so important to understand exactly what a personal narrative is. After this video, you are going to watch a story about Stella and a day that she had.